Hello, and welcome to Week in Trucks. This week, it's time for one of our big group tests, and this time, it's Tipper Trucks. The construction industry is notoriously tough, both in terms of the punishment the vehicles take and the very slim margins the operators have to work on. We've assembled six of the best-selling 8x4 muckaway tippers to find out just how much punishment they can take and if they can earn the operator a hard-earned buck. But first, let's go and hear from the manufacturers who bought them here and find out why they think their vehicle is best for the job. I've got Dave Taylor from Volvo Trucks. He's going to tell me why the Volvo FMX is so good on ground like this. Basically, it's equipped with diff lock control, DLC as we know it as. You don't have to stop when you're applying your diff locks in. Uh, low speed, you've got the intermediate stage where it's the first stage on the switch, the second stage cross locks the rear end up. Great, thanks Dave. I found James Turner from DAF. James, tell us about some of the qualities of the vehicle that make it so good in the quarry. This construction CF also features Aestronic on off-road software. So through the flick of a switch in the cab, the shifting strategy has adapted to give you more progressive clutch operation, more transient engine speeds and ultra-fast gear shifting. So giving you the traction you need when you're in these arduous conditions in a quarry. Great, we'll let you go and get it mucky. I'm here with Dave Young from Renault Trucks UK. He's going to tell us about some of the features of the Range K. Dave? This is the truck you need if you're doing a whole lot of off-road work. It's got a 380mm clearance under the straight front axle and, best of all, a 32 degree approach angle. Best on the market. Thanks, Dave. I'm here with John Griffiths from MAN. He's going to tell us about a feature of the TGS that I think drivers are really going to appreciate. What is it called and what does it do? It's called top torque and what it does, it increases the torque of the engine in the top two gears by 200 newton meters. Basically, a 400 horsepower engine produces 2,100 newton meters of torque in the top two gears. In driver language, it makes a 400 horsepower truck feel like a 440. Thanks John, great feature. I'm here with Simon Wood from Mercedes-Benz. He's going to tell us about the best feature of the Arox, but I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to say. Simon? Well, it's a cab, George. Just look at it. I'm here with Jared Griffiths from Scania. He's going to tell us about a feature on the truck that's very topical at the moment. Jared? With the Scania. We have the side window, which aids the driver to see pedestrians or cyclists. Great, fantastic for safety. Thank you very much. We've also got some of our testers here, so let's go and find one and see what they're up to. Kev, what are you doing here in the quarry? Ah, uh, We're taking all the vehicles out around the quarry. We're going to check out the driving characteristics of each one, check out the power and the torque, and, and there's a lot of uh, undulating hills around this quarry, so it'll be a good chance to see what these trucks are made of. And you're going out on the road later, what will you be doing there? Uh, we'll be looking for a bit more refinement there, all the trucks bar a couple are automatic so we'll be checking those and how that, how that stacks up in this industry where automatic is usually frowned on a little bit. Drivers prefer their manuals so we'll, we'll see how the two compare. Great, we'll let you get on. Colin here is the technical editor for Commercial Motor and the man in charge of the test. So Colin, tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Well, as well as the dynamic testing on and off-road, we're carrying out a whole series of static tests, including uh, driver facilities. And we're also using this cone to simulate a small child to check the visibility range from the driving seat. Great. Sounds like a great test. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. just sheltering from the wind while we make a decision about what the best tipper is. 
I think we're nearly there, so I'll be back shortly with a decision. I've got a confession to make. We couldn't actually decide on a winner on the day. It was just too hard. When we left the quarry, we argued a lot. But that's just because they excel in so many different areas. Picking out a single winner is really difficult. The Renault and Volvo are great for their ground clearance, but the DAF is a really easy drivable machine. We like the whole package of the MAN and the Mercedes too, but after weighing up all the pros and cons, we had to give it to the scan. While it's not the most technically advanced truck, it has strong residual values and it sells really well. Tipper operators are looking for a tried and tested machine, and in the Scania P410, they certainly have that. It's going to be replaced next year, but for now, it's our top muck away tipper truck. Thanks for watching.